Hi, my name is Gavin Moore, and I'm the creative director on Puppeteer from Japan Studio in Tokyo. So let's talk a little bit about what this game is all about, because it's a very unique gameplay aspect here. Yeah, that's a big question. I get asked that a lot. And、uh, what is this game all about? Basically, it's a game set inside a magical theater where instead of you moving through the world, you actually all the backgrounds move around you. And what we're trying to do is mix it up a bit. And、uh, so we change the backgrounds every five to ten minutes. So you always want to keep playing, you always want to see what's coming next. And in our story, we basically have our poor hero's soul is stolen away from the earth to the moon by an evil king called the Moon Bear King. And he basically shoves our hero's soul into a wooden puppet and sends him off to the kitchens to work you know, for the rest of his life. And unfortunately, he displeases the king, who then pulls off his head, eats it, and throws him away, discards him. But what he doesn't know is that our hero is a special boy, and he basically、um, comes back to life without a head. And there's a witch working in the kitchen as a cook, and she's not a very good cook, I'll tell you that much. And she has a, a little cat with her, a flying cat. Which she sends off to help him. And we soon find that our hero has this ability to find objects and use them as heads, right? And then she sends him off to find this pair of magical scissors called Calibras because she has aspirations of her own. And so our hero is sent off to the throne room of the evil king,、uh, and he actually succeeds where no one has ever done before and comes back with Calibras, and that's when all his troubles start. Can you talk a little about the actual gameplay experience that you guys, especially let's focus on what you guys are showing new here? Okay. So, what we've done is、uh, people may know, may not know, but、uh, our hero is a puppet. So, we basically use his head as your life. So, you take damage and your head will fall off your shoulders, and you have three seconds to run after him, pick it back up. I mean, it's three seconds in Europe, but I think it's five seconds in America because that's the food rule, right? You drop your toast and you have five seconds to pick it up and eat it before your mum slaps you on the wrist. So we use that rule, and we have a hundred different types of heads in the game, and each of those heads has an individual ability. So you have to kind of search around and use that secondary character on the right stick to search around the backgrounds and, and to click on everything, to touch everything, to, to discover stuff. You might find that new head. And then those new heads, those abilities allow you to take you, they may take you to bonus stages that are hidden. And、there are over 20 of those in the game to find. They may like, find incredible characters that give you more background on the story, etc. So you want to hold on to the heads and use them in the right place. And then, besides those heads, we have four hero heads.、And、what's great about those hero heads is they're linked to the story. When the Moon Bear King took over the moon from the moon goddess and banished her, basically, four of her guardians, her heroes, rose up and tried to revolt against him. Unfortunately, they were absolutely useless, and they had their heads off, pulled off, and thrown across the moon, so nobody could, you know, have a revolution against the Moon Bear King. But in the story, our hero finds will find each one of those heads, right? But you can't lose those heads. Those heads then have individual special powers, and they're the knight's power. That's your basically your guard, so you can defend yourself. But you also have the ability to reflect beams of magical light against dark creatures. Then there's the、uh, ninja power, and basically you can pull bombs out of the top of your head and throw them. Now, obviously, all of these heads can be used to take down enemies, but they actually have other ways, and they're linked to being used with the scissors. So, throw an object, you can blow it up, some of the set will drop down, smoke will rise up, and you'll have to cut your way through that smoke to get to places you couldn't get to, for instance. And then the next power is the wrestler power, right? That's a great power because that is brute strength. So you'll actually be able to move the set around to change like, different things in the set to solve puzzles, etc. But it also has this great thing where you can cut your way high into the air and then do this massive body slam down on enemies. And then the final power is the pirate power. And you have a big hook on your head which you fire out on a chain and you can hook onto objects and pull them, make them swing, for instance, and make them shake and release snow that you can cut, for instance, all those sort of things. Or you can hook onto enemies and pull them towards you, and while they're stunned, you can cut them in half, basically. You guys also are showing some new backgrounds yeah. here. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing for me about Puppeteer was always changing the backgrounds all the time variety, 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 so the user never knew what was going on. And we're actually showing quite an exciting level in the game. It's actually、uh, a sideways scrolling roll on the back of a pink flamingo. 
called Mr. Pink, who never stops talking. So the whole time you're trying to navigate your way across the back of this dragon, right, with lightning coming down and everything, and a volcano's erupting and lava everywhere, this character's just speaking at you incessantly. Um, and once you clear that at E3, then it takes you actually into the final dragon battle, where you can then use those four heads together, those heroes' heads I've just explained, with your scissors to defeat the dragon. When will people be able to play this fresh and new experience? Well, you'll be, get, be able to get your hands on it, PSN and Blu-ray disc on the same day, which is September the 10th in America and September the 11th in Europe.